Let's Go Hunting with Savage video, and wasn't really expecting to make this one, but they came out earlier than I thought. The new species were released, the dull sheep, so I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, the reason why I spawned over here at this lodge is not because I know where they, they are, but I thought they might be in sort of the... Oh, shit, sorry. They might be in the more mountainous regions, so like maybe up this pass here and around the base in this sort of area, which I haven't really been too much. So, I kind of thought that's where they'd be, being a sheep. So I'm going to head out that way. Also, I was pla actually was planning to do another video um, highlighting species that I haven't covered yet, such as the feral goat and the grey wolf, which I really never got around to do a video on. I've been taking a break from this game for a little bit, and I've been playing things like the Call of the Wild, you've seen me play some Daisy before, and some other games that have come out. And I'll probably make some videos on it, I'm not sure. But anyway... It's a nice morning out here, and we'll get straight into it. <laughs> I'm trying to make some fucking footage for the um for the intro and stuff. <laughs> that's, <t> <laughs> that's actually funny as uh some of the calls in this game are great. Like, they're realistic. I will say that, they are realistic, but they're great. <laughs> I can't see anything, but there's something down there. Oh, it's a rabbit. <laughs> there's a rabbit. Right there. There's a fox up on the hill, and the sheep is down. Oh, there he is. He's up there. Yeah, pretty small one. It's fat. <laughs> it's male, though. Who's that fox too? I would have bought out something like the 243 if I was hunting sheep. And I might have been able to score the fox too. Yeah, look how well that blends in. But uh, I picked this caliber just in case we're going to run into any bison. Straight down, and I know I can't shoot that. So, we'll go and grab that. So, there are rabbit tracks, and these, uh -huh, these are the tracks of the sheep, so they look exactly like the ibex and the, um, the bighorn sheep tracks, which, oh, as you can tell, <laughs> very similar. Strain the neck, and went through and punctured both lungs. Nice, score of 85, I don't know what a fucking big one looks like. But since it's our first one, as you can see up in the top left, that's not too bad. Look at the fur on it, that's really nice actually. Yeah, what kind of filters we got? That's a nice one. We'll keep the chroma. Brings out the white. <laughs> but um, that was something they did really well with the walls, except it kind of looks a bit funky because of the colours. But on this it's really nice. Also, the horns are nicely detailed too. So we'll accept that. It's just gonna roll down the hill a little bit. And I guess we'll just keep pushing on, see if we can find a nice big one, I guess. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Sheep just up ahead. There it is. Doesn't look like a bad one. So let's have a look at it. I'm gonna have a, a little bit of a look at those horns first. 
I don't know, it's bigger than the last one. They sit very still though. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, this rap was too big. <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> this area is. <gasps> There's another one there. <gasps> There's more than one. <laughs> There's three. Four. There's a nice big one who's just sitting there. Wow. <laughs> Let's take a shot on him. <laughs> shot him in the ass. <laughs> Missed the second one. Oh, he'll go down, I guess. That's not the best one, and <laughs> not the best trope shot, but there we go, it's got some nice tall mounds in the background. Any filters work? That's a bit too blue. I think we'll just keep it as normal. Except. Nice. One thing I do need, or oh, I probably should get, is some of those trophy shot poses, because some of them actually look quite nice. I just haven't put the money in really to get any. But anyway, I probably should get some of those, might make some of things look nicer. And there is a sick deer down there, actually. Pretty small one. Oh. Well, we're about the same size as one we shot before, but I'm not too worried about that. I just want to go after these sheep. Here we go. Intestines. Doesn't even tell me. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. But there is a sheep down there. One of them. <laughs> hmm. Might be part of the group, might not be. Because where's the rest? Who knows? Actually, there's a frozen river just over there. Um. I don't know. Kind of want to see around this corner because I think they ran off that way. Oh, there's a sheep dead right there. <laughs> so I guess we'll collect this one. Actually, yeah, there, there's one over there. It looked bigger than the one just down the hill. But he's gone over that, um, into that little death light just over there. I don't know, I think we might shoot the one that's down the hill there, after picking this one up. Because he might, might have been one that we've seen before, so it was actually a body shot because it hit the hip bone. 145, so that's just bigger than the one we just shot. And I might, must say that these are actually quite some impressive animals. Let's use that one. That'll do. Alright, so we'll shoot the one down the hill here. Because I want to try and get as many as we can. <laughs> and that one was trotting down the hill, so... And this one's disappeared. Nice. Okay, it turn, turns out that we can't see that one. We've just been looking here for a little bit. And, I don't know, it must have trotted it off. I guess it might have been part of the group that we spooked. So, I might just head over here just to this little lip. Might be able to spot one hanging around. Well, they spot the group because they might have just grouped back up together, maybe. Oh, look at that one. 
<laughs> wow, look at the size of his horns. He's down. And I can't see the other one running, so I must have gone already. Fire out, that one's big. <laughs> I think we might have found a pretty good spot where these ones hang out. And there's Arctic Fox over here too, so that makes it a little bit more interesting. I actually did like hunting the Arctic Fox. I did them for one of my videos, I'll leave that at the end. But um Yeah. That's pretty cool. See one of those really big ones. I don't know how big it is compared to the others. But for those who do want to know, this kinda seems like a pretty good sort of area for the sheep. Uh maybe they could be further out this way too, I guess so, being in this gap. Maybe out here too. horns. I wonder how they measured. I think the big horn sheep are in width. I wonder if these were in width too. I'm not sure. <laughs> Spine and intestines. Wow. I went pretty much straight through. 181. So that's actually probably not too bad. <laughs> nice. Let's see if there's a good filter. I reckon we might keep this one because this might become the thumbnail. Anyway, awesome. <laughs> so, I don't know if there's any more around, and I guess I'll just keep looking. You guys will be back when I find something, I guess. There we go, I found the sheep. I think this is probably the one that we saw go behind that ridge before. But um, I'm going to take a shot. It's actually not too far really, and he's sitting quite still. Steady up. Ah, oh, too good. Alright. There we go, it's down. Oh, there's a bunch of sick in here. There we go, here's the sheep. And... Oh, we only hit one lung this time, do we? Yeah. One lung, 140 scoring, so... I guess that's quite decent sheep. And there we go, let's just check filter. Oh, it's too bright. Keep it as normal. And there we go. Now, I must say with these sheep... Oh, actually, how many have I killed so far? I've killed... Uh, that's seven shots fired. And I missed one of them, so there must be six sheep that we've killed so far. And I've only been hunting for... about 45 minutes. And <laughs> this has been quite fun. Like, if I put a 243 in my backpack, like I will do next time, I'll probably do some fox shooting as well. So, doing this kind of path is, would actually be pretty fun. But what I like about the sheep most is that they're actually a quite a little bit of a challenge. And just... Something the um, bighorn sheep kind of don't have is that they're too hard to hunt, I sort of think, to be fun. They're like a real needle in the haystack to find. But... Sorry, I, heard, I thought it hurt footsteps. But these ones are... Well, they're, they're not extremely hard to find, but they do have like this real s 
Well, they feel kind of special because of the environment. They're just all white, and the environment's all white. It's kind of why, I like, well, why I like the fox sh shooting as well on this map. Is because the fox is so small; it's quite hard to see, and but they are plentiful, so you can go shoot quite a few and have quite a lot of fun, as well as them being a challenge. It does, and it didn't. No. <laughs> now it knows. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking. Oh shit! There's another one down there. There's not a bad one too. <laughs> I was just thinking. Um. Because I saw those tracks there, and they're going the other way, and I just searched all in that area, couldn't find any, and I didn't want to go back up there. <laughs> and there was one right in front of me. <laughs> I can't believe I shot it in the arse and it didn't run. That one's down. <laughs> we'll make sure to put a dot in him so we can go pick him up. I cannot believe it freaking took an arrow to the ass and just thought it was nothing. <laughs> Jeez, these sheep must be made of iron if they're not bloody feeling 70 pounds of force through an arrow that's just driven into their ass. They've got bloody asses of steel. <gasps> I found it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the arrow's sticking out of it. Wow. <laughs> Look how small the horns are, that's so cute. The first one hit the intestines and the hip bone. But it was like, nope. Second one hit the intestines. Okay. Score of 33. Wow. Anywho, let's take a trophy shot. <laughs> it's on top of the world. Nice. No, it's too bright. Alright, there we go. <laughs> and we'll go pick up our other sheep down at the bottom of the hill. And I think we'll call it a video. And here we go, our last sheep we have to pick up. Not a bad looking one, but he's decent. And spawn and a neck bone. 136, so yeah, around that average sort of, well, decent sort of mark, I should say. 50, 8.57 K98 bolt action harbors, so that's good. Alright, I'm going to leave the video off here guys, um, hope you enjoyed it, this first look at the Dale Sheep, I actually enjoyed them quite a bit, and I'll definitely be doing some more hunting of them. And remember, I'm going to put out another video looking at the Feral Goat and the Grey Wolf coming out pretty soon, probably by the end of the week. So, um, anyway, if you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to leave a like or a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this content or other if you wish, and I guess I'll catch you guys all next time.